Welcome back to uh, Vectors External Division of a Line. So let's work out this question on external division of a line. The position vectors of points A, B and C are A, B and C respectively. Point C divides AB in the ratio 5 is to negative 2. Express C in terms of A and B. That is a question. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is to locate diagrammatically the position vectors of a b and c so let's begin by doing so so i will draw these uh, points so we have that is point a and then this one is um, b then we have uh, c dividing this line AB externally, so we're going to locate C outside AB. So, getting the position, if this is point O, and to get the position of that is C, that will give B, and this one will give A. So, OA is A, OB is B, and OC is C. Now having that, now let us um, indicate the ratio. C divides AB in the ratio 5 is to 2. So 5 will be the distance between A and C. That will be 5. Then B to C will be negative 2. Now having that, uh, there are two methods that you can use to get uh, to express C in terms of A and B. And I'm going to work out the two methods right away. Uh, so method one, method one is whereby we are going to use the ratio theorem. The ratio theorem. And in using the ratio theorem, I will let uh, this five be denoted by m, and uh, this negative two will be m. So m is equals to 5 and n is equals to negative 2 so using these uh, to get OC this is what you're going to do so m uh, divided by this is now how the ratio theorem works m divided by m plus n and then this one will be multiplied by vector b plus n divided by m plus n multiplied by vector a so now we can substitute these values whereby we have m m is 5 then m plus n will be 5 plus negative 2 which will be 3 that is b plus n is negative 2 divided by 3 by a so when you simplify this you get this one as 5 over 3 b minus uh, 2 over 3 a so that is how we get uh, point c how we express point c in terms of a and b now that is the method one method two um method two of doing the same and this is how we are going to work out so we want to move uh, from o to c so the route that we're going to follow is o to a so oc will be given by o to a then a to c so oc is given by OA plus AC. Now we express our vector OA is given, that is A. Then AC, this way I need to be a little bit more careful. Um, AC, look at the distance AC. AC is 5, so that is 5. Then um, divided by since uh, AB is the one that is being divided externally by point C, 
then this distance AB will be 3 since uh, from A to C is 5 then B to C is negative 2 so to get AB you just take uh, 5 subtract uh, 2 and you get that is 3 so AB is 3 therefore AC is given as 5 over 3 AB 5 over 3 AB then you can proceed and this will give uh, A plus 5 over 3 AB vector AB uh, is given by B minus A since we given the position vector of point A and B now uh, getting vector AB will be simply B minus A we can open the brackets here and simplify A plus 5 over 3 B minus 5 over 3 A like terms together uh, like terms together uh, a minus 5 over 3 and then uh, this will give um, negative so this will give uh, 5 minus negative 2 over 3 a plus 5 over 3 b or or you can simply write it as a 5 over 3 B minus 2 over 3 A so you notice um, the two methods are giving the same answer so 5 over 3 B minus 2 over 3 A look at the first method 5 over 3 B minus 2 over 3 A so that is uh, simply how we're supposed to get a vector C to express C in terms of A and B using the ratio theorem and the other method.